There's no need to head to a fancy restaurant to enjoy some fresh ahi tuna steaks. This top rated recipe from All Recipes is all you need. And it only takes seven minutes. First, you gotta know what you're buying. You want good ahi tuna. So that might come in the form of fresh yellowtail tuna or big eye tuna. And you can find good sushi grade tuna that's frozen. It doesn't always have to be fresh, but when you can get it fresh, that's gonna be best. We definitely don't wanna mask this delicious, delicate flavor of freshly caught tuna. So we're just gonna simply season it with a little bit of salt and cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper's optional. I'm doing it because I like a little spicy tuna. Tuna is pretty mild in flavor, especially when you're getting fresh steaks like this. So having a flavorful crust is important, plus it can take on any flavors of a sauce you might add later. I would say there are two main things to get a good sear. This is very important. If you don't learn anything else from this video, learn this. To get the perfect sear, you need super high heat, higher than you think. And also, you want your starting surface to be as dry as possible. If you are questionable on whether your surface is dry, it can't be too dry. So just give it a little pat before you hit the skillet. I'm using a good cast iron skillet. It's my, one of my favorite, probably my top three favorite things in the whole kitchen. A good stainless skillet is gonna take at least five to 10 minutes to heat up properly. You'll know it's hot enough that when you add your oil, you want it to almost like slightly smoke. If it burns right away, then your skillet got too hot. You wanna use oil because it has a higher smoke point than butter, but then I also like to throw in a little butter as well for flavor. A great thing about this recipe is we add in a few peppercorns. We're gonna heat those until they just start to pop. That's gonna add some flavor to that oil. The whole peppercorns are just gonna slightly permeate through that fat, just adding just a subtle peppery flavor. I guess there are more than two things to know. Once we get that fish in there, you don't touch it. You don't touch it till it naturally releases from the pan. And it will, it'll tell you. These little fishies are very smart. With seared ahi tuna steaks, you usually eat them rare to medium rare. So you're, you know, it's like one step cooked beyond sushi. To get rare to medium rare, you're just looking for 30 seconds to a minute on each side. So once you're in, don't walk away. I season the second side after the first side is down. You can see the crust forming without having to move it. You still wanna be able to see some of the raw flesh inside. That's telling me that it's got a nice crust around the edges, but it's nice and perfectly medium rare on the inside. Essentially, you've got a one ingredient main entree. Uh, doesn't get much easier than that. Y'all, this is perfect. You've just got that good flavorful crust around the outside a good medium rare to rare in the inside. I gotta cut all the way to where I get my little sample piece. I prefer this to sushi any day, but I love serving it with similar flavors. You can really create the perfect bite with things like this. I've got an Asian style marinated cucumber salad and some sticky rice. Got that spicy little crust around the outside. I love a slightly sweet, sticky sauce drizzled over the top. Tuna is one of the best fishes that you can eat in its raw state. It doesn't smell fishy, you know, like you might imagine. This is nothing like what comes out of the can. Mm. It should just almost melt in your mouth. It is so tender. It's got that spicy little crust on the inside, but the flesh is almost sweet paired with something tangy like these cucumbers. It really is the perfect bite, the perfect meal. This truly is the best way to get a fine dining experience right in your own home in less than 10 minutes. Could not be any easier. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. And when you do, don't forget to tag me. Now get cooking. People just don't realize it's my world. They're just in it. <laughs> totally kidding.